What's going on, people? It's the Xbox 448, a part of HardKnockGamers.com. I'm gonna leave a Facebook link in the description below. It's a it's a Facebook link um, to my page, and uh, click on that link. Send me um, send me a request to join the Hard Knock Gamers Facebook page. It is a private group page. It, it doesn't deal with all the console war, war drama, drama and stuff, stuff like, like that. that. So yeah. if you're a gamer that likes to talk about games, get excited about games, definitely click that link and let me know you want to be a part of HardNotGamers.com. And um, I will gladly put you in there. But as for today, I want to talk about something that, you know, on the surface, I don't think a lot of people have a problem with. And in the end, it's not that big of a problem, but the wording in it is what makes it a little off to me. And that is betas. Now, for pe people who don't know, betas have been around for a while. And basically, it's, a, it's like a little snippet of a game, uh, usually the multiplayer aspect, because a beta is meant to test the game test the multiplayer servers make sure they're holding up make sure there's no little crashes uh test out the gameplay make sure it's as balanced as the developers want it to be and such and recently the the last two uh betas that i've you know well the one beta I'm, i've been a part of and the next beta that is coming it doesn't seem that they're there to test anything now the beta I did get was Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. I wanted to see what the game was like. And and basically it's the same as the first. It looks like a great game. Now the thing is, the beta was for four days in the middle of January, and then the game comes out in February. It doesn't give a lot of time, you know, for any type of uh, testing or tweaking. So leads me to believe that the developers already had you know the infrastructure and everything set in this game for the multiplayer and all that good stuff you know there are private companies out there that that hire testers and, and you know things like that and i i think this game has gone gone through those you know those rotations and stuff and i believe that this quote unquote beta was merely just like a a hype demo all right, and the division that's coming out, uh, the beta comes out on the 28th, and then the game comes out in early March. Same thing. All right, it's so close to the release date that I don't think of it as a, you know, a way for to test the game. So this way, the developers can make any like tweaks and stuff. And the reason why I say that is, what happens if you know during the beta there is a major flaw in the multiplayer? Uh, you know, the development team doesn't have enough time to go in there and, and fix something that is major, which is why they privately test before time. So all in all, I think that these are just kind of like hyped up uh, demos or previews per se. And I want to know what you guys think about that. Do you think they have the right to use beta when in a sense a beta is to test the game? Like I said, I don't believe they're testing the game. I think they're just hyping people up. Especially in the case of The Division. I know uh, it seems to have a little more time in between the beta and the actual release of the game. But with all kind of like the controversy, you know, the supposed graphic downgrade, the, the delays and stuff like that. Uh, it just seems that, you know, this is out there to kind of appease the masses, per se, and not necessarily test the game. But like I said, definitely hit up that comment section. I want to know what you guys think about this. Um, I, I want to know if you see where I'm coming from with this. How it doesn't seem to be a beta. It doesn't seem to be too much time. You know, if anything does go wrong, there, there isn't too much time between the beta and the release to, you know, fix what needs to be fixed. Um, as usual, if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, like I said, comment. I, I love to hear you guys' feedback. And as always, subscribe. But as for now, this is the Xbox 448. And I am definitely signing off.